Okay, so what have we learned? We've learned that believing in Harvey Dent uh, breaks the game, apparently. Let's uh, let's see what happens here. I don't know where this is going to leave me off. Hopefully it leaves me off after saying that I believe in Harvey Dent. Punch him in the solar plexus. Give him one of those. Uh. Oh, that time I got him in the solar plexus. You don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Who will stop Lady Arkham? Right, they're still good in you. Don't you give up on me, Harvey. I know you're still in there. I still believe in Harvey Dent. You betcha. That's, that's good to hear. Thank God he was finally stopped. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Well, I can take care of all this. And hopefully part of that means I gotta go after to him. All the innocent lives he's responsible for, he should be locked up in Blackgate Prison. But that broken mind of his will probably only get worse in there. It's gonna get worse no matter what we do. Den is too dangerous and too damaged to be kept in some holding cell at Blackgate. You have to get him into Arkham. They might actually be able to help him in there. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll see what I can do. In the meantime, you stay safe out there, like... alright? You too, Jim. I mean, I guess maybe Arkham would help? I don't know. He needs to be in a mental facility, but Arkham's not the one. We all know that. Al. Al, what's Bruce, wrong? The computer. It's Penguin. We need to cut the hard line now, Bruce. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline, it will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll have control of all of it. I have to shut it down. <laughs> That's what doing nothing does, apparently. Episode 4, Guardian of the Gotham. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Alright, did you promise Joker a favor? Uh, Alright, so that went 50-50. Did you go along with the Joker's plan? You and 31 players decided to stop the fight. Alright, so... I went against the grain there. Players paid off the Enforcer. That was 50-50. Did you deal with Harvey as Bruce or Batman? Uh, I was a little less. Did you stop Harvey or Oswald? 45% uh, went after Harv. Yeah, because I, I don't want Alfred to die. Losing my tech is not worth losing Alfred. Updating our content. And we're jumping in City of Light. Alright, so what we are going to do now is we are going to change the title now, because now we are on episode 5. Got there. There we go. Done. We are now episode 5. Let's jump right in there, Bruce. Alright, so, this is it. 
this will get us the plat. Previously on Batman. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the Veils killed? I never said he killed the Veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. So where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What the hell did you do? My Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That's what a leader does. Yeah. All right. All right, they're trouble. <laughs> You don't understand, Batman. Without me, Gotham is doomed. Thank I God believe it finally stopped. Is. Nice work, Batman. My job's not done yet. I still need to find Lady Arkham before it's too late. Which we are Bruce, about to do in this chat. All of your bat tech is linked to this computer. If you take it offline. It will all be inoperable. If Penguin hacks in, he'll uh, have control of before? all of it. I have I to shut it down. You know, for some reason, I don't feel like this is actually saving my uh, my choices. But I don't know. I mean, if this is anything like, uh, if this is anything like, uh, what's it called? Uh, the Borderlands one, then yeah, shoot, five days Breaking later. Breaking news. The children of Arkham have taken hostages. High-profile Gotham citizens, including Police Commissioner Peter Grogan, who was taken while attempting to intervene. I repeat, the children of Arkham have taken hostages. Yeah. Wow. Carry on, gents. Boss says it's time to get the bat's attention. No, what? What are you... No. Really? Is that necessary? Don't you dare. Drop her. Oh, no! Yeah, we're pressing X. You're safe. Batman's right, sighted, boss. Right on top! Dude, come on, the grapple gun, really? Right, Man, this frame rate is really out of trouble here with this. Getting you? Whoa. Oh. Peace. Commissioner, get to safety. I can't just leave these people. You're a good man, Grogan. Batarang. Boom. Yeah, I don't think so. And you go there. Batman! No! It's a trap! Whoa! Really? Come on, you can still see him, Bruce. Grogan, you're a good man. Don't you die on me, Grogan. Oh, come on. No! Oh, Krogan, you're a good man!
Save our city. Oh. Commissioner! Commissioner! Well, oh, and that's how Gordon becomes the commissioner. He's gone. God, Grogan turned out to be cool. Come on, really? How is my grapple gun attached to Wi-Fi? Alfred. Oh, thank God. With the comms offline, I've no idea what's happening out there. I always fear the worst. I need to get back to the Batcave. Figure out Penguin's next move. I can't let him keep hurting innocent... Really? I would improve the armor. Batman! Impressive as ever! Life off the grid must be treating you well, huh? What's your point? My point is, you're at the end of your rope. You can't even stop me offing a police commissioner! <laughs> Without your toys, you're nothing. Just turn yourself over to my men. Scouts on it, they'll go easy on you. Grogan's death is on you. And I'm here to make sure you pay oh, for it. Oh, Batman, those are just words. Words can never hurt you. Unlike this drum here, which is designed to cause quite a bit of pain. Yeah. Start on, Batman! Going down. No, no, come on, just stay put. Nope. Knock that thing down. There we go. Oh, oh bloody! <laughs> if I can just find a way to hack into it, I can get to Penguin. All right, let's look He's at this. He's made improvements, even deadlier than before. Wayne Tech, in Penguin's hands. It's a dangerous weapon. All right, we gotta tear this out. Oh Listen. My God. I have never yeah. All right, let's wire into the phone. I have a flip phone, Anything? really. Men used a device that targeted my armor. If Penguin has more devices like that, the bat suit will be a liability. It's already in bad shape. It couldn't protect me from a knife, let alone Penguin's new arsenal. If Batman can't take the fight to Penguin, maybe Bruce Wayne can. Face Penguin as Bruce. Without your armor, you'll be more vulnerable, but far from helpless. Penguin would never pass up an opportunity to gloat. He'll be happy to talk to his old friend, Bruce Wayne. And while he's busy talking, you'll be figuring out a way to stop him. Besides, I won't be going alone. Get Gordon on the line. Give him our files on Oswald Cobblepot. Tell him that we did a little digging after he took my position as CEO. He should know who really killed Commissioner Grogan. And that the killer will be in Cobblepot Park. Tell him that Bruce Wayne will meet him there. There you go. Lieutenant, these officers are at risk. Penguin is... Wayne, get back! Oh, oh no! That's probably on me. I saw some kind of transmitter hidden behind the statue. Hey, give us room. Transmitter? Wayne Tech. Controlling the drones. God damn it! 
Some of my officers are still in there. I'm not gonna let some poopit thief kill my men! If you can destroy the transmitter, Oswald loses control of the drones. <sighs> There's no way to get to it. You heard Martinez. Lieutenant, you need a him. distraction. I can keep him talking while you get into position. How the hell are you gonna do that? I don't think listening to the guy who publicly attacked him is at the top of his priority list. Oswald and I grew up together. A little trip down memory lane could buy you at least a couple minutes. That's all well and good, but he wants you dead. Trust me, Lieutenant. I'm your best shot at getting those officers out alive. This is insane. But I'm all out of options. I'll go in around the back. If he sees me... He won't. I'll keep him focused on me. You will get your chance. Keep the perimeter tight. All right. If he suspects anything before those drones are offline, we're both dead. Don't worry, Gordon. I'll help you. Same device that fried the suit. It's a hell of a trap, Oz. Guys, it's just me. Yep, that's right. You're not going to shoot your old pal Bruce Wayne. Bullies aren't coming back. They better not. Oh, oh. They say bad oh. things about my family. I'll smash the dumb faces. Stop us, please. On, I'll Oz. smash all the dumb faces. Get the word out, eh? All the channels. The penguins got That's away so in Cobblepot Park. Oswald! Bruce! Welcome! The pigs are making it hard to bring in the bait for Batman. But now that you're here, I have the perfect lure! Not that I'm upset, oh, but... there's the transmitter. What does bring you by? Hmm? Never known a Wayne to stick his neck out. Feels too good to be true. Yeah, I just want to talk. I've come to talk, Oz. It's a bit late in the day for that. Still, I'm tough you popped by. Well, so far, only Gotham's finest have bothered to show. They paid for sticking their snouts in where they don't belong. You know, I'm surprised Batman's not already here to save you. He's usually so on top of everything. Maybe I need to cause a few more screens. Yeah, you're Maybe you just stuff. aren't important enough. Everyone knows you're only Lady Arkham's... I'm nobody's lucky, Wayne! Lady Arkham and I are more partners in crime. And Batman will show Yeah, you. I'm sure. He just can't help himself when lives are at stake. And when he arrives, oh ho ho! The lights, the sounds, the blood running into the gutters. Once he's out of picture, there'll be nothing left in our way. Mine, or Lady Arkham's. She's got some pretty big ideas for the city, and they're about to kick into gear. I know Lady Arkham's real name. She's Vicky Vale. Oh, did you figure that out when she's. Stuck you with a needle for the time. He's you. Done all right by all this brew, huh? It wasn't so long ago. You and me met in his very park. Me crawling out of the gutter. You looking down from on high. Take a gander at us now, but. Oh. Night and day. You'd hardly recognize us, would you? 
You have everything you wanted. Just quit while you're ahead. Exactly my plan. Just a few loose ends to oh, tie so up that, first. Okay, so that makes his, uh... Batman! Oh, uh, that's not Batman. Damn it! Where the hell is he? That makes his monocle, he's though. so bloody trapped. Unless... This wouldn't be some kind of plan, would it? You working with the bat? Did you really come here all alone, Bruce? Why, Oz? Are you scared of Batman? Might be, if I weren't so certain of my upper hand, as it were. <laughs> Not that you can't look after yourself. You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed bat. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. Felt like you were working out some issues there, eh, Bruce? That was the drug, and nothing more. We both know that isn't true. Your father locked my mum in Arkham Asylum to steal our fortune. He drove my own dad to suicide! The way it's caused the ruin of my entire bloody family. Enough of this! You try to get me all shaken up? I'm not waiting any longer. Bad man, my dad. We're done, chat, no friend. You can take out the transmitter anytime, Gordon. Release these drones. You'll make mutton out of you and all the lawmen around this park. And then on to the rest of this bloody city. All right, fine. It's my fault, Oz. What now? You're right. Everything nice. that happened, I distracted everything him. you've gone through, that blame falls on me. On my whole family. How unlike you to admit your faults. Maybe you think that'll save you, hey? Ah, but guess what? It won't! There we go, Bloody baby. Hell. Look down. Gotcha. Think your old man said. Bruce, you, you bastard! You got a lot to answer for. Oh, you bloody pigs! How's this for an answer? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Is that all you got? Show some dignity and defeat, Oswald. Freedom is right. I gotta admit, you surprised me. You were right about this one. Gotham owes you a debt. The GCPD does too. I won't forget it. I certainly hope not, Jim. Thank you. Let's settle for a beer. Yeah, I think we can make that happen. <laughs> do you think this changes anything, do ya? Lady Arkham's gonna have your heads served up on a platter. He has a point. We just took down Lady Arkham's top man. She's not gonna stand for this. No, she isn't. I never thought I'd say this, but... Sure, and use the Batman. God, the Batman has a better idea where she is than we do. Well, I think he knows. What do you mean by that? <laughs> Batman, let's talk that was serious. City of Light. All right. Let's do something. Self-diagnostics. How go the hey, repairs? Going offline kept Penguin from finding the Batcave. But it also scrambled our system. The Bat computer barely runs, and worse, most of my tech isn't working. It's going to take time to get everything up and running again. If it gets running again. It's going to make tracking down Lady Arkham a hell of a lot harder. 
You have proven that you don't need armor or gadgets to help this city. In the end, Bruce Wayne was the one to stop Penguin. Bruce, Not every answer is solved with Batman. These last few weeks, I worry about the toll they've taken on you. Facing off against Harvey and Oswald in a matter of days. Not just the physical toll. Those were men you once trusted. And after finding out what you did about your father, people must seem a great disappointment to you. Always letting you down, even those whom you admire. Not everyone is like my father or Oswald. And what Harvey became, well, it wasn't by choice. And me. Everything that happened, I could have stopped it if I'd done something all those years ago. This, this is my fault. All of it. Well, don't I told yourself, you I Albert. wanted to leave your father's employ. But if only I had the guts to do something instead. Your mother, she wanted that. Wanted to put an end to his crimes. If I'd helped her... If I'd stopped Thomas... None of these horrors would have occurred. Lady Arkham... I don't blame you for what happened, Alfred. You did the best you could in an impossible situation. And it helped to make me the man I am today. Damn right you should I... remember that, Alfred. Thank you, Bruce. But our work isn't done. The children of Arkham are still out there. And Lady Arkham. With both Penguin and Mayor Dent off the board, she's the only remaining piece. We need to figure out her next move. The only thing we do know is that she moved on from her plan to poison the city. With Penguin gone and my CEO access restored, I can finally log into Wayne Enterprises. There we go. And see hey. exactly what Things Oswald come, was doing up, during Bruce. his time in charge. If I cross-reference that with all the data we have on Vicky Vale, we might be able to figure out the children of Arkham's next move. Uh, determine the link between Oswald Caldwell and Vicky Vale. Uh, let's check Damn the codex. It. Still offline. Uh, codex is offline. I need to get this working again. All right. Uh, let's check out the Your Wayne. administrative CEO. access to Wayne Enterprises should have been reinstated by now, along with your title of CEO. Let's see what Oswald was doing while he sat in my chair. Master Cobblepot's sense of humor on, hasn't Enterprise. changed much since you were boys. Can we just see what he was doing? All right, let's take a look here. Surveillance, real estate, financial report, records. Penguin was tapping into surveillance systems across Gotham. Any building using Wayne Tech security could be spied on from the CEO's office. How is that any different than the back door into the Wayne network that he uncovered? That's not... unless... Hold on. Security. Oswald was... <laughs> was trying to buy an island. What on earth for? Looks like he was using his new legal control of Carmine Falcone's assets and likeness to brand the place. It's some kind of tourist attraction. Really? He was going to call it... Hangover? Falcone Island. What? Hmm. We need to figure out Lady Arkham's next move. Of course. Strange financial well, report. Oswald certainly wasn't very frugal with my money. You have a few yachts to return, it appears. Yeah. Also explains how the children of Arkham had a seemingly endless supply of guns. Oswald was using Wayne money to arm them. Records. Oswald altered several public records using the Wayne network. Bruce? Oswald manipulated my records as well. It would appear your degree was in sociology. And my medical records. There are some well, but colorful diseases. <laughs> Annoying, but not hard to fix. Uh, oh, that's better. 
Yeah, no surprise off. here, Oswald wiped away any trace of his criminal records. His background is completely fabricated. He was enrolled at Cambridge? Ridiculous. <laughs> Calm down, Alfred. I'm sure the board realizes by now that they were fooled. And what about Vicky Vale? All mention of her birth name, Victoria Arkham, is completely gone. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? He also erased something from Vicky's research at the Gazette. I can't tell what was removed from here, but Wayne Tech leaves a trace when it alters data. One the Bat Computer can decode. What is it Miss Vale wanted to hide? Uh, let's back out. Check records again? Do it. Alright, I can't pull her up. What do we have here? They did more than just look at these schematics. Every building in Gotham with a Wayne Tech security system can be accessed from here and remotely controlled. If Oswald was the brawn, Vicky is the brains. So let's check her file. She may have left clues about what she was using Oswald's access for. Good. All right, so no. Uh, let's back out. And the next person to look at would be Vic uh, Lady Arkham's file. Uh, we will take a look at that in just a second. I just need to switch over some clothes from my washing machine to my dryer. So give me two seconds, everybody. Right, and we're back in. All right, so let's see what's going on with Lady Arkham. Vicky Vale, mid thirties, reported for the Gotham Gazette, and not in the public record. Her true name, Victoria Arkham. To think she was here in the manor. She gave nothing away of her true nature then. She was in the manor. Uh, Vicky Vale. Uh, Lady Arkham, Vicky Vale Gazette. Let's take a look at this first. Vicky embraced this identity to follow through on her twisted crusade. Her mask inspires fear. Yeah, you think? Not to look unlike the scarecrow. Batman. I just need to find her. Alright, what do we got here? Children of Arkham? Children of Arkham. Their symbol dates back much farther than their terrorist hey, activity. Thanks for joining in, they guys. formed to get justice for those wronged at Arkham Asylum. But the message fell on deaf ears. Until they found a leader Gotham couldn't ignore. Huh. 
Alright. What's the Gazette's in the records Gazette? are the articles written by Vicky Vale. This record isn't complete. You're right. There are notable gaps between entries. But yet, it doesn't seem she ever left the Gazette's employ. So what was she doing in that time? This well, record wouldn't be easy to alter. Seeing what Oswald was up to could give us a fresh perspective. Alright, so I got a link. Now that it's we unlocked. know how Oswald manipulated Vicky's records, the back computer should be able to... There, there we go. No more holes. Alright, so what do we got? She was looking into Arkham patients. Reviewing records, checking submissions, prior histories. Like her parents? She was trying to figure out who was actually sick and who was committed because of Hill, Falcone, and my father. Yikes. Vicky was digging deep. Gotham City records, freedom of information requests, post to conspiracy forums. All to find. It's a list. Gotham buildings that use Wayne Tech security systems. It's a list of targets. City Hall, Arkham Asylum, GCPD headquarters, Gotham First National. It's almost every landmark in the city. We're on to something. It's just gonna hit all those places. He wants to bypass the security at a Gotham landmark. But without a man inside Wayne Enterprises, she can't unlock that door remotely. She'll have to get her hands dirty. And when she does, we'll find her. Bruce, you there? It's urgent. One of the bad prototypes has been stolen. By Lady Arkham? Not quite. I'm patching you the feed now. Oh, Catwoman. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her? After all that you two... Alfred. Yeah, I know, Bruce, but... Why would she do this? Is she that cold-hearted? That selfish? She must have her reasons. Well, I'm sure she does. <laughs> the device she stole. It's a prototype. It's an electronic skeleton key. With of course. it, you could bypass any security system made by Wayne Tech. That key is far too dangerous in Miss Kyle's hands. Especially with Lady Arkham still at large. Is she gonna sell it to get Lady the car Arkham? ready, Alfred? I'm going to get some answers from Selena. And here I thought we were done with it. Selena, you're better than this. Damn it. Damn it is right. Hey, Bruce. I wasn't expecting you. Thought I'd make it outside the city limits, at least. Clearly my ride needs a tune-up. But if you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me. Are you? Yeah. I don't blame you for wanting it back. I'm surprised you had a toy like this. No doubt Batman would use it for the good of Gotham, but the less noble options are so much more... exciting. Why should I give it back? So much potential. Just imagine what I'd be able to dig my claws It's beneath into. you. Thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Catch. There we go. I know you're just playing into my pride. But <laughs> you're right. I don't need a crutch. There we go. Play that right. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't pretend you're not impressed. As long cons go, this one was a beauty. Getting into Wayne Tech's lab took a lot more than cracking a safe. I had to get close to people. Your friend Harvey. Poor guy just wanted to fall in love so bad. After that, it didn't take very long to get my introduction to his BFF. 
<laughs> the great Bruce Wayne. Imagine my surprise when the rich playboy turned out to be Batman, scourge of Gotham. I was always going to steal from Bruce Wayne. I just never expected he'd be so interesting. No, I don't you talk it. a good game, but I don't buy it for a second. You're not that shallow. You really think you know me that well? I know that whatever this started as, that's not all it means to you now. The only thing it means is that I'm very good at my job. Yeah, I think so. I'm getting out of here while the getting's good. Gotham's a house on fire, and I'm not going to burn with it. If you were smart, you'd get out of here too. This town hates you, hates your entire family. Just leave it all behind. Do something more meaningful with those skills of yours. You don't need the money, but but think of the fun. Gotham needs me. Gotham needs me. And I won't abandon the people of this city, no matter how they feel about me. After the way they've treated you, you've got one hell of a thick skin. You're gonna need it. It'll be good to put some distance between us. After all, look at what happened to Harvey. It'd only be a matter of time before I crossed one of your lines. Isn't that right? My copy of the Boy Scout Handbook is out of date. I'm bound to break some rule. You and I may disagree on a lot of things, but I'm not worried about you. You're that sure? Bruce, I... I think I finally get what this is all about. You're upset that I'm leaving. <laughs> What'd you think? You that one night me? of sex meant we were going steady. Is that what you really thought? Well, maybe it meant nothing to you, but what happened between us meant something to me. Ah, oh, Bruce. Didn't know you were the sensitive type. Just stop the show, Selena. Stop pretending nothing matters. <sighs> Look, Bruce. I'll admit that what you and I had... It wasn't terrible. But you were just another job. A more... Intriguing job than I was expecting. It's still a job. Well. And that job's done. I'm done with you. It's not complicated. I'm not a good person. I'm certainly no hero, and I don't want to be. I'm a thief. That's all I am. I told you that from the start. I never pretended to be anything else. You know Stop. that's not true. It's not true. I know there's more to you than that. You're just afraid to admit it. You'd like it if that were true, wouldn't you? Why would you even think that? I've made my feelings pretty clear. Why aren't you listening? You sure. saved my life. You could have left me to die back in that warehouse, but you didn't. Someone who's only out for herself, who's just a thief, wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah? Who would? A good person. Yeah. That's who. A hero. There you go. Click on that. You know... After I found out you were Batman, I thought nothing else could surprise me. But you just keep on surprising me. Kiss her goodbye. Something to remember me by. <laughs> <laughs> I won't need any help remembering you. Way to go, Bruce. Well, it's been fun. You stay out of trouble, because if I catch you taking what's not yours again, I'll have to stop you. <laughs> I look forward to our next dance. <laughs> oh, this be a next time. Good for you, Bruce. Lucius, I've got the key. Uh, hold on, Alfred's on the line. Hey, Alfred, I... Bruce! Lady Arkham! She's here! I, I tried to keep them out, but... Why does everybody Alfred? keep going after my house? Alfred! You'd think by now I'd have a lot better security than this. Alfred!
Oh, jeez. Lucius, it's Bruce. He's not here. Damn it. I'm going to search for clues. Just tell me how I can help. Get over here as fast as you can. I'm on my way. This is. Uh, We're gonna find it, Lucius. Fire poker in the wall, really? Need to focus. Figure out what happened here. What happened to you, Al? Let's examine the mouth of blood. What did they do to you, Alfred? Ash everywhere. So there was a fire going. Something big was thrown against this wall. Or someone. Probably Al. Furniture's overturned. Furniture scattered outwards from a single point. Alright, so there was a blast. A scuff mark. What could have caused this? Fire poker? How the hell... Let's see what else we got. Busted face. Face was knocked over in the struggle. The fight left nothing untouched. Circumstantial. Pool cue. This pool cue was used as a weapon. Swung so hard it broke in half. Alright, what else I got? So... Obviously, this. Blood pattern looks like it came off a high velocity hit. Alright, so that's the scuff mark. So you go with you. Alfred used the pool cue as a weapon. Broke it across his attacker's head. Whoa! When that didn't stop him, he used the jagged end to stab him, spraying blood across the pool table. A broken lock. Lock's been completely destroyed. Alfred must have barricaded himself in here. But they got in anyway. So the scuff mark with you? These weren't scattered by the same event. Alright, yeah, so then you. Definitely over at the fireplace. Alfred grabbed the fireplace poker to fend off an attacker. But it was knocked away. What? How does that happen? Alright, uh... So, I guess... Bookshelf goes with... What does the bookshelf go with? I guess these are the only two that go together? Lady Arkham must have used the concussion blast from her oh, stab to yeah, try yeah. and stop Alfred. I know what happened. The children of Arkham broke in. Alfred barricaded himself inside the parlor. He had just enough time to grab a pool cue as a weapon before Lady Arkham blasted the doors open. He broke it across one of their heads Boom. and stabbed him to get away. Another assailant tackled Alfred, knocking over the vase. Right. Alfred almost escaped, but then Lady Arkham entered the parlor used her staff's concussion blast, scattering all the furniture in her path. 
throwing him against the wall by the fireplace. So Alfred grabs the nearest thing to use as a weapon to defend himself. Lady Arkham deflected Alfred's attack, causing the poker to fly across the room and lodge into the wall. More blood on the mantle. He smashed his face into it. Wait. That picture doesn't belong there. Lady Arkham wanted me to find this. Oh, jeez. What do we got? Alfred. The butler did it. Password reckoning. You have no idea. <laughs> going after the last person, the last person who could have done something, and chose not to. Lucius. Worrying isn't going to help Alfred. We need to focus. You're right. Let's get started. Alfred yeah, keeps just adjusting his there, glasses. Alfred. The reflection. He's making sure I see the reflection in his glasses. <laughs> he knows the back computer can use multiple reflection angles to recreate the room that he's in. And I can view the virtual image using my cowl. Good thinking, Alfred. Oh, time to get some VR. Go Damn it. Still offline. Still offline. All I right. need to get this working again. Get up from access. Damn it. I can't access the news feed. I need to get this working again. I need to cut off more than that. Go to uh, Let's get okay, the camera. Lucius. Freeze frame on the first signal Alfred gives. Paint us a picture. Here we go. Clues. He's wounded. Must be one of the thugs Alfred fought upstairs. Okay. Professional grade camera. Probably came from the Gazette's office. Let's just stole that. And now we got some stairs. Stairs leading up. Cement walls. We're in a basement. Alfred's yeah. trying to look at things that might give us a clue to where he's being held. Okay, looks like we've seen all there is to see in this frame. Let's move on to Alfred's next signal. You got it. There's a water heater. Boxes. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. Let's keep looking. Anything else is the water heater at? Yeah, this is the water heater's Rogers last thing I got. A service company for the water heater. I can use their records to find home addresses for their clients. We're getting closer. Yeah, but we're not there yet. Yeah, we're Nothing else nowhere near here. close with that. Moving on. It's Lady Arkham. Arkham. Keep searching. We got Mason the Stamp. Mason stamp. Only one Masonic Lodge in the city. Gotham City Fraternal Order of Stonemasons. So the house was built in 1945 by them. That's a big lead. Jump to Alfred's next signal. You got it. So we got a bus stop. The basement window. What's that outside? Give me a second. 
They're by a bus Perhaps. stop. There we go. Okay, I think we have enough to pinpoint a location. Well, let's hope. Yeah, I mean, we should after all that. Toggle filters. All right. So let's narrow it down to basements. With repair. These logs. are all the homes serviced by this water heater company on the days and months listed. All right. By the build here. Filtering for all homes built on that date. And your bus get the stop. bus line from this, but no stop number. This will help pinpoint the neighborhood. Expect your remaining locations. A corner store. That seems unlikely. Yeah, I would think so. Bowling alley. <sighs> Damn it. Definitely not. Let's keep looking. So one other place. Is this. You are not going to believe this. What is it? Lady Arkham is back at the Vale House, where she killed her foster parents. According to its records, it has a basement. We know where Alfred is, but I'm without a working bat suit. An actual. Oh yeah, a new bat suit. One of the early prototypes. It has basic cowl functionality. But outside of that, it doesn't protect much more than your identity, I'm afraid. All right, well, what's a quick call? Thank you, Lucius. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles, but it should still scare the crap out of criminals. This ends tonight. Nice. 8.38 p.m. Heading into the basement. Be careful. Time to slowly walk our way. Well, Batman, Batman, I'm all right. Yeah, of course they're gonna booby trap this area. There's another one, and of course he's gone. There's no one here, no Alfred. Damn it! There's blood on the walls. I'm going to see what I can find. Standing by. Some great insulation you got there. Let's take a look at the chair. This is where they had Alfred. Where they beat him. I'm so pissed. Let's take a look at the blood splatter. The blood hasn't congealed yet. Means we can't be far behind them. Anything with a camera? Oh, there we go. Blood trail. There's a boot print in the blood. Lady Arkham's soldiers dragged him. The trail stops at the wall. Actually, it goes under it. Sounds like there's more to this basement than it would appear. Taking a closer look. Yeah, that's drywall. The wall is just a facade. Why would the Veils have a false wall in their basement? Uh, kick or push? Uh, let's push it. Let's be now safe. let's find out where the Veils were hiding. Okay. There's a small room. With a hole in the floor. A rope ladder. rope ladder. Anyone down there would be trapped. Call out. Uh, let's pull it. Uh, 
maybe throw down the rope ladder? No, let's just go in the hole, I guess. Inside. What the hell? What? Are the veals beating people? Bruce, what's down there? Do you see Alfred? No. It's some kind of torture chamber. Shackles, belts. Blood. What? what the hell? Vicky. She was kept down here. Locked away. Who could do that to their child? I'm beginning to understand. What is there to understand? To willfully hurt a child. No wonder Vicky is consumed with hate. It's all she's ever known. I can't even imagine. But it doesn't give her the right to take it out on others. The Vale's foster children may not have been the only ones to suffer here. I followed Alfred's blood into this hole. If he had any opportunity at all, he would have left me a clue. Drawings, it's fresh blood, belts. There are drawings. Vicky must have drawn them when she was a prisoner. The chalk here is different, newer. So the blue chalk has got to be Alfred. Alfred's glasses. Let's take a look at the belt. The belt. It's caked in blood. Ugh. Dude, this is messed up. Is this what is that? Fingernails. Someone tried to climb out. Alfred? No. Shackles. Blood on them. Old. And new. Vicky did to Alfred what was done to her. Still with the doll. Disturbing. Vicky created her here, in this room. This is where Vicky Vale became Lady Arkham. Ugh. Fresh blood? This blood is fresher than the rest. Must be Alfred's. Alfred's glasses. Alfred's glasses. Alright, yeah, I knew the chalk was the last one. One piece thing to apart connect from the others. Blue. Mm. The same color as my tech. Can't be a coincidence. Maybe... Liberate. She will liberate... Me? Some of the words have been highlighted. She will liberate. Fleeing from something. She's gonna release Is everybody from Arkham? Arkham Asylum. Yeah, link it. He left me a message using this chalk, but there must be more to it. Well, yeah. Link. Alright. Uh, break Link. Yeah, she will liberate Arkham Asylum. Alfred left me another clue. This is what he wanted me to find. To see. The newest chalk. He's added to an old drawing of Arkham Asylum. He drew figures outside the gates, like they're running away. The words highlighted are, she 
will and liberate. She will liberate? I don't see what that has to do with Alfred. Alfred's just along for the ride. She's been using Wayne Enterprises to get access to the buildings with Wayne Tech security systems, including Arkham Asylum. She's going to open the doors, release the inmates, and she took Alfred with her. Including Paul Gordon in the GCPD. I'm on it. Lady Arkham won't be expecting us. We'll catch her by surprise. I mean, will she though? Pretty sure she's probably expecting us. And that good old JPEG. says the GCPD are on their way. He's leading the team himself. If you can find Alfred, maybe you can get him out of there before all hell breaks loose. Almost ready. Let her know. Copy. On our way. Go ahead. I got this. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to take out some of these guys. Peace. This ends now, Vicky. Tell me where Alfred Pennyworth is. The butler. Bruce Wayne has a bat on his payroll. Answer the question. Where he is doesn't matter. He'll be dead soon. Another corpse in Bruce Wayne's family. No one's dying tonight. You really think you're in control here? <laughs> Your confidence is impressive, but that won't save the butler or the rest of Gotham. A lesson needs you don't to know be that. taught. They won't look the other way. Not again. And when did Gotham look away from you, Vicky? Don't try to psychoanalyze me, Batman. You have no idea what I've done to come this far. Too much to turn back now. I know, I know you suffered. You were tortured, held captive by the people who were supposed to love you. I don't know how you survived. You want to know how I survived? I survived. Because every night, I dreamed of the revenge I'd take on them. And this forsaken city. Your time's run out. Yeah. Whoa. So where did she get the tech from? Like that bit's not explained. Vicky! There's nothing you can do, Batman. You underestimate the true children of Arkham. These souls kept behind bars. Open the doors! Oh. Alright, this is a problem. Arkham! Listen to me! Freedom is yours! The only one standing in your way is Batman. Batman. He stuck me in here! Me too. Let me out. He's the crazy one. Really? Alright. Time to fight the mentally ill. Yes. Goodbye. They are. Don't you dare! Batman! The entire security system's offline. Every inmate's loose. The leader of the Children of Arkham. Did you see her? They win. Okay, bye. Right, well, 
now. Oh. Bold time? Alright. Alright, so we're going with that. We've got to link the kitchen. Inmate 10 no 5. Share. Lightweight and accessible. Oh yeah. We're linking that taser. There's Joker just hanging out. Gotcha. You're gone. That's the plan. Whoa. Oh, nice Gordon. You are going to die. Oh my god, Gordon is so fucking awesome in this game. It's a pleasure to see your work in person. Jesus. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Gordon's here! We'll round up the rest of the inmates. You stop Lady Arkham! Hey, what's up, Grumpy? There's no way out now. There's always another way here, Batman. All the people that Thomas Wayne condemned to this place unwillingly, they speak through the walls. Their ghosts walk. They know the way. I can't help those people now, but I can help Alfred Pennyworth. Take me to him. My pleasure. Oh.
You're not well, Vicky. You need professional help. <laughs> Says the man dressed as a bat. It's a classic comeback. Let him go! The butler has to die. Payment for Thomas Wynn's sins. He took away my family, so I'll take away his sons. If you really want to save the butler, bring me Bruce Wayne. If anyone can find him, it's you. He's probably cowering behind a 12-inch thick wall and a hundred bodyguards right now. Why should I trust you'll keep your word? Because my mask is off now, Batman. I won't lie. Your You're mask doing is so off. much for one old man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jump. Oof. Vicky. Stop playing games. This isn't a game to me. You know, Batman, I really don't understand. Why are you fighting me? I've done great things for Gotham. Falcone and Hill deserved to die. If anything, I did you a favor. We're fighting the same fight, Batman. Can you see that? We want the same things! Those men deserved their day in court. Just like everyone else. So they could have gotten off like they did so many times before? No, Batman. They got exactly what they deserved. My justice is final and absolute. Yeah. It's the old you argument everybody has. You shouldn't be defending him. You think Bruce Wayne is any better than Tom? He hides behind his status and wealth. He's a coward. Blaming right, other men. Oh, oh. <sighs> I'm curious, Batman. I know why I wear the mask. It's who I am. Who I was always meant to be. That's gotta be like a mirror or something. What about you? Do you wear the mask to hide? Or to become who you really are? It's gonna be another trap. Are you the man? Or the mask? Masks. The mask is a symbol. Some fear it. But for others, it brings hope. When I first saw it, I found it inspiring. And once you're dead, I'm going to mount that mask on my wall. But first, I'll see the man beneath. We survived that no worse for winter. Really? God, Arkham is a weird place. Oh, Alfred. Hold on, Alfred. Uh, you... you... You came. You came for me. Uh, after what you said, I knew you'd come. The man. The man I, I made you. Just hold on, Alfred. Did you see where she went? She just... Dis disappeared. I'm getting you out of here. Uh, above you! Uh oh Back that way. And... Come on. <laughs> Interesting how you speak to him. So familiar, Alfred. Such concern for someone you've never met before. It's called compassion, Vicky. Something you seem to know very little about. Sounds like deflection to me. There's more here than you're telling. It makes me wonder, do you really care? 
Only one way to find out. Oh. That man told you. Shut up, old man. You've seen my true self. Your turn. Prove that you can. Take off your mask. Let me see the man you really are. Yeah, we'll remove the cow. That's what it will take to save him. No! No, Bruce. This must be some kind of trick. Bruce Wayne, he, he'd never be the man Batman is. He only looks out for himself. Oh, but of course. <laughs> now I understand. As Batman, you can prey upon the weak, the defenseless, just like your father did. A true Wayne. <laughs> There's nothing heroic about you. You're right about my father. The things he did are unforgivable. But I am trying to make up for his crimes. I wear this mask to help people. I'm not some naive socialite you can sweet talk. I know a liar when I see one. Oh.
что ты So, how's, how's that going to affect me? I'm just going to walk out and everybody's going to know I'm Batman. A week later. As to last week's events at Arkham Asylum, a spokesperson for the GCPD assured us that the breakout has been contained and all inmates have been returned to their cells. Miss Vale is missing and presumed dead following a gruesome battle with the caped vigilante known only as the Batman. Her death marks the end of Children of Arkham's reign of terror. <sighs> if the public knew the half of it. Nice. It's better that they don't. Uh, this came in the mail. It's unsigned. <laughs> Selena. <laughs> With everything that's been going on, I, I haven't gotten a chance to thank you for what you did, sacrificing your identity for my safety. But uh, it was a dangerous thing to do. You could lose everything. The secrecy you've worked so hard to maintain, gone. Good for you. Without you, none of this would work. You are my family. You don't know how good it is to hear you say that. After everything that's happened. And your ear? At least there's something left of it. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Tompkins assured me it adds character. <laughs> that it does. We will get through this, Bruce. Don't lose sight of the fact that you've done some real good for Gotham. You should be proud. I didn't take them down alone. I had help. You, Lucius, Gordon, Selina, and all those who gave their life fighting for Gotham. To those who helped, and those we lost. The damage done by the yep. children of Arkham has left Gotham a city in turmoil. Faith in those at the top has perhaps irrevocably been shaken. Acting Commissioner James Gordon has promised to speak out about the issue tonight during an emergency citywide address. And I hope, despite the recent terror that's gripped our city, that Gotham's leading citizens will come out to show their support. Will his token appointment be enough to regain the city's trust? It remains to be seen. But experts agree that... Gordon requested Gotham's leaders to stand behind him. Leaders like you. Damn right I will. Let Gotham see who Bruce Wayne truly is. And let them know what you plan to do for his future. Well, this could be a first start. For you and for this city. Though in Gotham, the only figure that can make as much impact as a Wayne is Batman. You've helped this city tremendously both as Bruce Wayne and Batman. And that person, whether he dons a cape or not, is someone I'm proud of and honored to call my friend. Thank 
Thank you, Alfred. <laughs> so, what do you intend to do about tonight? Well... Lucius has yet to invent a suit that'll let Bruce Wayne and Batman be in the same place at once. That is unfortunate. I suppose you must decide whose appearance will be more valuable. As Bruce, you can help repair the damage done to your name, get the public support so that you can change things from the top down. But Batman is a symbol of justice and strength. Maybe in these dark times, that is truly what Gotham needs the most. Perhaps one is truly the mask. And one is who you truly believe you are. I think we gotta attend to Bruce. No, Bruce Wayne will be there. You'll make quite the impression. Gordon will be grateful. Good old GCPD headquarters. Which looks suspiciously like Wayne Enterprises. Commissioner Gordon. He is here. Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, it doesn't sound right. Don't worry. It will. Thank you for having me, Commissioner. What uh, happened to your ear? It looks painful. Cut myself shaving? No. <laughs> What'd you use, a chainsaw? Well, to be honest, I was surprised to get you a call. Now, after that nasty business at your manor, I know Harvey was a good friend of yours. A loss like that, I wouldn't blame you for lying low. What you did is no secret. These people all saw there's more to Bruce Wayne than just the playboy. Public opinion is bound to swing around. Well, before long, you'll be Gotham's golden boy again. These people they have no idea who Bruce Wayne really is. But that's about to change. Oh? Well, I look forward to knowing the real Bruce Wayne as well. I was half hoping Batman might show up, too. I wouldn't mind knowing he was keeping an eye on things here. Not to mention, <laughs> he makes one hell of an impression on people. Do you trust him? So, does this mean you trust the Batman? Uh, to play by my rules? No. But to fight for this city? Hell yes. They're ready for you, Commissioner. You know, during times like these, it can feel impossible to hold on to hope. But I have hope. Hope that together we can rebuild what was lost. Now in the last few weeks, as much violence and terror as I've seen, I've also seen the citizens of this community band together to fight those threats. And one of those people is Bruce Wayne. Thank you, Commissioner Gordon. Tough doc to follow. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm here today to not only show my support for our acting commissioner, but also for this city. Many of you have suffered terrible losses. And some of those losses came at the hands of my own father, or at least as a result of his actions. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize to tell you how sorry I am for the pain the Wayne family has caused this community. If my recent incident with Harvey Dent has shown me anything, it's that I can no longer sit on the sidelines. My family's wealth was built on the suffering of others. I think it's time to repay that debt. I plan to use my resources to improve the city and make the lives of its citizens better. And to that end, better Arkham Asylum or a stronger Gotham Police? 
A closer alliance between the GCPD and Wayne Enterprises will provide the police force with the support, with the training, and the equipment they need to make Gotham safer than it ever has been before. The GCPD will be the most technologically advanced police force in the country because the people of Gotham deserve to feel safe. Oh boy. ago, Bruce Wayne delivered a rousing speech that turned into a shocking assassination attempt on his life. He sure does clean up well. See you soon, Bruce. Oh. <laughs> City of Light? Alright, hey, we got the Platinum. You said to lose distract Penguin. Yes, I did. Did you blame Alfred for his involvement with Thomas Wayne? You and 67% of players comforted Alfred that he wasn't to blame. It didn't matter who was the fault, all that matters is fixing the problem. 3% blamed Alfred. Did not respond as Alfred blamed himself. How do you respond to Selena? It was more than just a thief. Oh, yeah, a lot of people went for that. Yeah, we all protected Alfred. Uh, show. Up to Gordon's address is Bruce. Nice. Alright, well, we did it. We got through Batman. Well, you know what? That was a... That was a solid game. Uh, I think it was great. I mean, it... I know everybody was talking about how much this really played toward the uh, putting a greater emphasis towards Bruce Wayne and the role he plays as Batman, and I think that did a great job doing this. This did a great job doing that. Uh, you know, the Telltale guys do one a hell of a job with stories, and this was absolutely fantastic. And I know there's a second part, I mean, hopefully I can play that soon, but uh, for now, this part of the Trophy War is complete. Uh, so we will be starting a new game, possibly tomorrow, uh, or at least within the next couple of days. Uh, in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, if you liked what you watched, go ahead and hit that heart button. Follow me here on Twitch, Jersey underscore Tom. You can also subscribe to me on YouTube, Jersey Tom Gaming. This full playthrough will be up there shortly. Uh, or you can follow me on PS4, Schmuck88. Thanks everybody for watching. Peace.